offered by uh, a scholar and artist from Tallinn, Daigo Helamis. Nevertheless, uh, the beginning of 90s, 
uh, it was a period of rapid, rapid change. Uh, French Baltic video art festivals became an important step forward. The first event was French Latvia video art uh, festival in America 1990. Uh, the last, with, with its last uh, being held in 1997. Uh, in the year after that, French Baltic Nordic and uh, new media festivals took place in Thailand. And um, the digital age in Estonia arrived at the international conference. Uh, understanding, understanding interactivity held in 1995 in Thailand, uh, organized by Eric Luitler, Sylvia Hellman, Ando Keskula, and Soros Center for Contemporary Art. Uh, the event brought together a distinguished collection of artists, theorists, activists, and gurus who would grow to become influential over subsequent decades of digital art and new media theory. Uh, Gert Loving, Richard Barbrook, Bert Buchtam, Alexei Schulgin, uh, Volker Grasmuch, Marlene Sticker, co-organizing the ICA in 2004, which took place in Helsinki and Thailand, but the source center for contemporary arts finest hour. Since 1996, <coughs> uh, the Art Plus Communication Festival at Conference in Riga has been organized by Rasa Smith and Reiter Smith. Mm. And this event, along uh, with other international initiatives organized uh, subsequently by the scene, have become the most enduring uh, media art forums in Baltics. Uh, Rixi have also produced other high profile international events like media art histories, uh, the conference Renewable Futures, and the Rixi Art and Science Festival, which replaced former mm -hmm. Art Plus Communication Festival. <coughs> Uh, Rasa Smith and Ryder Smith are themselves active as artists with projects such as uh, Biotrisy, Talk to Me, on oh, Battery. Uh, at the same time, they teach at uh, universities, Lepa University and Art Academy of Latvia. In 2002, uh, they were both nominated for the World Technology Awards in the arts category. As a team, they regularly publish their acoustic space series of which 15 editions have already been produced. In looking for outstanding mm, project by Baltic artists, the Milk uh, project uh, by Eva Ausina and Esther Polak should be mentioned. Their piece won the coveted Golden Nika Award at the 2005 premiere Arts Electronica for Interactive Arts. Uh, Lithuanian critic and uh, creator Yuri Dobryakov, I met him just last week, uh, and uh, he was talking here on the conference in Riga, including that future never arrived in Lithuanian uh, media art. And his presentation was entitled an expired future, a curious case of Lithuania media art. He said that he, uh, the highest point of media art in Lithuania was Ram 6 in 2004, or we approached a new media event with the subtitle Social Interaction and Collective Intelligence. Uh, Ram was a series of international workshops uh, in, collection, in collaboration between six organizations from Sweden, Finland, Latvia, Norway, Estonia, and Lithuania. Uh, he was arguing um, that the media art scene in Lithuania existed only ephemerally and did not acquire a long term continuous shape. He compiled the investigative retrospective of Lithuanian media art titled Remediation in Kaunas in October 2015 in context of Festival for Media Art and Music Centros. Uh, 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 Mikhail Kelicius and Lina Mikhailevich in their article Unwritten Histories of Extinct Media Art in Lithuania uh, are mentioning the importance of video art scene in the 90s. Uh, there were discussions 
that video art is not part of the media art scene as artists, just grabbing video camera or passing from medium specific to a discourse specific artist, or they start to work with the documentary or narrative. Uh, the very first attempt to produce um, an uh, institutionalized new media art was Institute of Media. Uh, launched in 1998 by uh, Mindaugas Kapsevicius, Andras Jounas, and Darius Mitchis. They have manifest still online, you know, written in 1998 and written in 2001, where they are stating art not only uses a machine but also changes together with the machine. Art always <coughs> oscillates between the real and virtual world after reality and is affected by it. The world of art is written through. Uh, and uh, in reality, the goal was, as they write, um, the project has been designed as an attempt to transfer an institution into the internet and study its functioning in that web. Uh, Mikhail Kevichus writes that first artist to fall under the category of new media art where Nomeda and Gedimina Sorbonas who are working in the United States um, at the MIT now who not used, uh, who not used uh, new media and relative concepts in their artistic practice but also advocated for it to a larger community of artists. In 2004 they initiated the film of Linux in the interdisciplinary lab of media arts mm. And uh, from the quote from their website, uh, Lima addresses the desire for space of experience related to the issues of technology that define new media and orients media to artistic practice and, and the, on the culture and society. Same team organized RAM 6 in 2004. Uh, young artist Julianas Kuponas should be certainly mentioned as he got prize at Ars Electronica Festival for Interactive Art 2010 for Talking Doors. Uh, the project was reaching, uh, researching uh, weight power and doors. Uh, the exhibition Gateways um, Art and Network Culture is worth mentioning, uh, created by Sabine Himmelsbach uh, at Skumu Art Museum in Tallinn in 2011. Uh, the exhibition introduced a young generation of artists whose work dealt with changing conditions of a network world, a world increasingly transmitted through media. Kilosberg stated that uh, uh, through the use of electronic networks and mobile technologies, the artists encouraged the public to participate actively and transport a uh, new experience in uh, perception. Uh, numerous Baltic artists uh, were participating in the exhibition. Conor Kopriman, Sivari, Verme, Razov, Smith, Wright, Smith, Martin Ratnik, Ratnik, Anna Kapensiere, Rin Ruse, Arkham, Timo Tots. Timo Tots, subsequent career, has been outstanding. Um, he was also distinguished with receiving the prestigious Golden Nika Award for Interactive Art for this project, Memorable 2, in 2012. Uh, the same project was later shown at the Museum of Communication Frankfurt at Edith Rusthaus, Oldenburg, Germany. Tagging based group, You Must Relax, Rien Rilzer Arco, uh, began their activities in 2007, a day without a mobile phone, an um, action in public space, uh, which allowed visitors to give away their mobile phone for 24 hours. The project uh, generated extraordinary media attention and was, to a certain extent, the perfect media artwork uh, in that it was public art, a happening, a sculpture, a telecommunicative project. It later went to show uh, in Canada, Germany, and Brazil. Um, the group continued their experiment based on recycled mobile phones in their project, um, Musical Study of Mobile Phones, which was presented at Lego Lake Music Festival and the Estonian Concert Hall in 2009. 
Uh, the latter uh, of these venues was undoubtedly the most prestigious location in Estonia. And you must relax, help prove and make it possible for marginal media art to attract attention among the economic and political elites. As my focus is mostly on Estonia with regard to the practical media landscape, it is important to highlight Timo Tolz, who is currently designing media-based exhibition displays for the Estonian National Museum. Uh, this museum is a spectacular new building, which was often dissolved on in Tartu. Uh, some of uh, its exhibited material will be digital and is digital already. Uh, additionally, Tos is working on the next version of his memo body. Although uh, its final shape and place of exhibition has not been decided. I must also mention uh, the successful work of Barbara Kuljarev and Mark Kane an Estonian-Spanish couple who have been actively collaborating since 2009. Uh, they have received prizes such as Google Devar Award and the third prize at the Pop Awards and have been mentioned as being among six couples who are shaping contemporary design. After years of working <coughs> in residences, they settled down in Salim and opened a studio at the Arts House for their artistic productions. They facilitate workshops on Arduino and 3D printing and have initiated Ars Makers Tuesdays, uh, a new format which they describe as um, an open learning, exploring, discovering, making, sharing and uh, socializing event, uh, which aim to introduce contemporary creators' tools and to create a place for an ongoing uh, discussion. In this respect, uh, Varvara and Mar are uh, initiators and community builders where previously there were no possibilities for uh, technological artists to meet and collaborate. Uh, I want to form a separate topic centered on education around digital media and media art. Uh, I will mostly discuss Estonian situation, uh, but um, though it's worth mentioning BA and MA programs in the Department of Photography and Media Arts, uh, Vilnius Academy of Arts. Their stated goal is to educate researchers capable of artistic research in the field of contemporary art and reali uh, realize a creative project using the most advanced media. Uh, for that matter, the new media art program at Vitalis Markovs University in Kaunas and the INPE lab at Liepaja University who also share similar aims and objectives uh, are worth mentioning. Uh, there is a predominantly pragmatic approach at Tartu Art College in Estonia where students rarely graduate with artworks rather with media design projects. Uh, the chair of new media at the Estonian Academy of Arts is currently led by sound artist Raul Keller and uh, focused on more experimental contemporary media projects. The, the chair became a successor of previous media center, um, which was established in 1994. Uh, Cross-media and digital learning games are two uh, relatively new study programs at Tallinn University, which could be described as new media-based. On the whole, their approach is practical similar to the new program of interaction design at Estonian Academy of Arts. The major difference uh, between the various educational programs is that their technological education programs oriented towards the art world and others that offer a pragmatic design world approach. However, the ambition to educate practical multimedia designers was already present in the 90s. At the time, uh, media arts position within the wider art world was rather vague. No, all, all fields uh, have developed into two general directions, let's say, media art and media design. The latter um, 
take into include interaction design, which could have minimal artistic ambitions. One might also include here the digital film approach, although most contemporary film education is now carried out by a digital platform. The Vigna and Culture Academy of Tartu University deserves being mentioned for including its speciality in theatrical, theatrical technical arts within the performing arts department. The specific aim of this program has been to teach the use of media technology within theater as more and more contemporary theatrical artists uh, seem to be integrating or separating digital technology from the stage narrative. Eric Olalov is a notable example of technological performer from Thailand who is persistently expanding his field. Though it has now closed, he led the interdisciplinary art department at the Academy of Arts in Thailand for many years. Olalov's speciality is in technological performances organizing them mostly with students. A British artist who has been responding to this question of obsolescence in Estonian media artist Chris Hayes, who teaches at several institutions in Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and Finland. And uh, now he is teaching in Viseva, actually. And, um, and he has created a considerable amount of digital artworks that could be categorized as interactive cinema. Despite his earlier days being full of witty creative energy spent expanding the possibilities of interactive storytelling, Hales observed uh, the unfortunate decline and gradual fading of this field as it shifted further towards a periphery. Nevertheless, uh, he has continued to react flexibly to technological changes adapting his interactive narrative course to teach a variety of up-to-date software and hardware platforms. Recently, incorporating commercial available headsets used to measure scientific data from brain waves. In general, with regard to media education and digital technology-based visual art, I believe there to be a split, split dichotomy between those whose practices end up seeking non-commercial avenues within the art world and those whose practices contribute to a more pragmatic means. I would define film education as being rather practical and applied uh, with an outcome situation in the conventional cinema environment. Uh, what's happening in the world of media arts correlates with what's happening in the historical or theoretical research fields of media culture and media archaeology. But this I am referring to the specific view of new technologies, non-material art and digital born art, which is based on a historical approach. Here, I want to mention resolve art and science hybrid, hybrid art and interdisciplinary research exhibition, which was created by Peter Pierman in 2014, uh, where many uh, contemporary questions were asked. What is art science and how should we see cross-disciplinary and trans-disciplinary phenomena? And um, uh, many international artists like Simon Penny, Dmitry Polatov, Rainer, Matisic, Martin Haus, Martin Reich, Sarah Robinson, Leonard Lennart, Ulrich Heyman were participating there. Uh, the objective of conference and exhibition was to highlight the most important areas where fine art, design, architecture, and other fields of art intertwine with science. Uh, subsequently, in 2015, <laughs> mm, people here defended her PhD thesis, hybrid practices, um, which was based around the exhibition and conference as well as her own hybrid artworks. 
it is worth noting that uh, the one of Thirma's project was sent into space with Estonian satellite SQ. Uh, Irma is a great example uh, demonstrating uh, the direction in which media arts and researchers are heading at the moment. Her career uh, her career highlights uh, artists and researchers uh, highlights the fact that opportunities in the field of media are um, exist where one is able to realize research, doctoral thesis, and exhibition projects simultaneously. Uh, exhibition ran early Estonian computer art um, uh, held in um, Art Museum Kumo in this year and created by Tuli Letik was an exhibition which presented us with another opportunity to discuss the history of digital art. It was providing a thorough selected compilation uh, from late 80s to early 90s. Tuli uh, Letik defended her MA thesis in 2004 and uh, in 2000 made one multimedia project, what I consider one of the beauties, most beautiful um, digital art work that was made here in, uh, in Estonia in a context. Uh, looking back at the early days of digital art and comparing them with the <coughs> recent fever of technological startups, it's possible to begin forming some conclusions. At the beginning of the 90s, uh, several games, including uh, Cosmonauts, Skyros, Rockets, were designed by Blue Moon in a software company. Jan Tallinn, Ahti Heil, and Rick Kassesal were programmers who later went to develop Skype uh, and were known before as designer, designers of Kazan. Uh, nowadays, they are developing delivery bots at Starship Technologies. Though Skype was uh, bought by Microsoft and uh, belongs to the everyday life of netizen, what remains of interest and is important to demonstrate is the influence of the everyday global communication by designers and programs, uh, programmers of the early Estonian gaming industry contributed. Uh, during the 90s and 2000s, uh, software designers and artists were freer to form connections and collaborations, working on all different types of products. Uh, nowadays, they could not be more separate, having shifted into discrete boxes. Those with serious IT and technical competence skills seem less concerned with anything other than entrepreneurship. In conclusion, it's clear that creative practices on digital technology have spread practically everywhere, from visual art into applied fields. The world encounters digital technology in the theater at the cinema, in numerous scientific fields, and occasionally in galleries presented in the disciplinary exhibitions and projects. Whereas once it was possible to identify specific groups of avant-garde innovators appropriating new technology, uh, these days it has become harder to distinguish them in the world where digital technology has become a um, cross-cultural constant. Thank you.